Streams 0.29 is out, so let's have a look at what's new in this release. It took us a bit longer than usual to release it, but there's a lot of work which went uh, into this release. There's over 200 PRs from over 25 contributors. A lot of the effort went not just into a new features, but also to some refactorings which are not really visible from the outside. One of the main new things is support for new Kafka versions. The Apache Kafka project released Kafka 3.0.1 and 3.1.1 as a patch releases for existing Kafka releases. And it also released Kafka 3.2.0 as a new mine release. All of these releases are supported in uh, Streams 029 together with the 3.0.0 and 3.1.0 Kafka versions, which were supported already in the previous release. So with Streams 029, you can choose from all of these Kafka versions. We also continued working on the Streams pod sets. They are now feature complete, but in Streams 29, it's still disabled by default and we expect it to be enabled by default in Streams 030. It would be great if you can help us test this feature in your test environments with this release so that we can make sure that there are no bugs when the 030 release is out. Uh, in the coming days, you should also look forward to some more videos explaining uh, what the Streams hypothesis actually are, why should you be interested in them, and uh, why did we spend so much time working on them. There are also some improvements to cruise control. Cruise control now doesn't use Zookeeper anymore to rebalance the Kafka cluster. It's using only the Kafka API, so the TLS sidecar from the cruise control pod is now removed, so don't be surprised by that. And uh, you can now also configure the names of the internal topics, which are used by cruise control to gather the metrics and, uh, and store the data. In addition to that, the Kafka rebalance custom resource has now new rebalance mode. Uh, there are three modes which are supported. There's the full mode, which is basically what we had in the previous releases, which rebalanced the whole Kafka cluster. And then there are two new modes, add brokers and remove brokers, which you can use to add new brokers to a cluster after you scale it up. And uh, the remove brokers is something what you can use to remove brokers from the cluster before the scale down. The add brokers basically should be faster than the full rebalance because it should not move any data between the existing brokers, but it will just choose some partition replicas which will be moved to the new brokers which were added to the cluster. Similarly, the remove brokers it will move all the replicas from the brokers, which will be then removed later in the scale down. And that way it will make sure that when the brokers are actually scaled down, that no data will be used on them and uh, everything will be available. There's also new experimental craft mode for Zuki Proles Kafka. Please keep in mind that this is not ready for production and it is used only for development and, uh, and testing and that there are many unsupported features both in Streamz as well as in Apache Kafka. Uh, similarly to the Streamz pod sets, uh, in the coming days we will release a new video which will demo the craft mode and focus only on the craft mode. So there you should be able to learn a bit more about it. There are also some smaller updates. Uh, the maintenance windows are now supported in the user operator as well. So when the user certificates uh, need to be renewed, the renewal will happen only within the maintenance window. There's also rec awareness support for Mirror Maker 2. So if while mirroring you want to fetch the messages from the closest replica instead of from the lead replica, you can now use this with Mirror Maker 2. And in addition to the existing platforms where we already support AMD64 
and ARM64, we are now adding also support for the S390X platform. And of course, there are many other bug fixes and uh, dependency updates and so on as well in this release. Hope you like this release. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave some comment. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss any of the new videos.